What is gas? Well, the first thing that's odd is that gas is not a gas. Gas is a liquid. We mean gasoline. And gas is this stuff that we get out of the ground and we're fine, and then used to move, move us, ourselves and stuff around. Uh, gas is something that is uh, polluting our atmosphere, changing the climate, causing political complications with, with all sorts of nations. Gas is a, it's a complicated and, and rather dastardly liquid. Well, America gets most of its gasoline from other countries. Um, we still get a fair amount from our own reserves, but they are depleting rapidly. Many people think it's quite worthwhile to go just a little bit out of their way to get certified lead-free Amoco gasoline. Gas is, it's, it's made from like old trees and dinosaur parts from millions of years ago. And they were compressed and they created this substance. And then Harry Ford woke up one day and decided to make a car and said, I'm going to dig in the ground, take that stuff out. And I'm going to go gasoline instead of diesel which they were both like 10 cents a gallon back then. <laughs> to get gas, to get petroleum out of the ground in places that are uh, politically complicated, um, such as Saudi Arabia, or Kuwait, or Venezuela, or Russia, um, leads us to make decisions about foreign policy and decisions as to where we might need to commit troops and what wars we fight um, that we might otherwise not choose to make. The rise in gas prices, oh my god. Every time I step outside my car and I drive by a gas station, I can just see the nippers turning upward, and I don't understand why. Why do gas prices keep increasing? The rise in gas prices makes the economy less efficient. It taxes not only uh, the consumers who have to buy gasoline to go to work. Everything that we get these days requires petroleum in the form of diesel or gasoline to get it to us. So the cost of everything is going to go up as the cost of petroleum goes up. We just got to change things up a little bit. We got to create new sources of energy. From the smallest thing, changing light bulbs to combat fluorescent light bulbs. We got this big ball in the sky. I can barely see you because it's so bright. That generates heat. Recycling, composting. We got this big body of water called the Pacific. That's the largest body of water in the world. But just imagine you put some kind of little device that did like this that can generate some kind of power. About eight years ago, I needed a new car. I had a nice old foreign car, very funky, very cool, and it was dying. And uh, I wanted to get another cool car. And uh, the problem was all the cool old cars I realized were incredibly polluting. Uh, my car by, uh, by its end was giving off all sorts of noxious gases and leaking all over the place. On the web I was finding the people who had leased or purchased electric cars. And so I realized that in fact they did work well. The people who had them loved them just that the car companies, for some reason, didn't want to make them available. We're going to Luscious Garage in uh, the south of Market in San Francisco, and they are a green garage uh, run by a woman named Carolyn. In the rare instance when an electric car might need, say, brakes, we come here and give her our business. But this has got to be the cleanest garage in San Francisco. There are plants here that survive. Everything they've done has been with an attention to doing it green. They also, quite unusual for an auto shop, have art shows. We all gather here the first Saturday of every month and have the meetings for the San Francisco Electric Vehicle Association, and they've been incredibly generous. Getting that electric car gave me great impetus to put solar panels on the house. With environmentally responsible solar panels, you could kind of complete this wonderful, virtuous circle of clean energy and a clean car. Because an electric car has no tailpipe, produces no emissions, and if the electricity you make doesn't produce any emissions in its production, 
you are as green as it can be. Doing all of the things that you know are pretty simple and don't cost any money is definitely the place to begin. 